Okay, so we've opened the packaging. What we do have is we have a very shallow dish of the pink and the black. I have had a little play with it and honestly, it's very, very oily. Um, doesn't feel like face paint at all. Um, doesn't need water activation, really doesn't. It's just that soft. Um, we do have the sponge. We also have the applicator. Um, again, I've played a little bit and I'm not not convinced. If I just show you on my hand, the application, <laughs> there's two types, very thick or very see-through. There's no, no, I don't think we're gonna be able to do a very good job with blending, but I may be wrong. We had in the pack a charcoal pen, we had the sponge, we had the actual paint, and we had some, I guess, one millimetre gems. Um, interestingly enough, and obviously the applicator, interestingly enough, no stencil, okay? So if you wanted to recreate the, sta the scales, um, and you were a mom, dad, whatever guardian you are going to struggle i don't know how you're going to do it other than going on to the um internet and ordering one um or maybe if you were very very thrifty using the old fishnet stockings idea i think you're going to struggle and i think if it was to be opened on halloween night like most people would do you'd have disappointment but that's just my opinion okay so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use a stencil that I have already got in my kit. I do have a large array of stencils in my kit. This one is a mermaid stencil that was done for me by a, a friend, um, Terry Novak, um, in America. Um, she's got a company called Queen Noreen Stencils. She does a wide range of stencils that are very, very good, good quality and very durable. So that's the plug. That's the only plug I'm going to do, I promise. So, let's try and recreate this. From what I can see, we've got dark going to pink, dark going to pink, dark going to pink, and then dark going to pink again. So we've got the gradient working down with the scales. It should be a couple of minutes max. But we'll see. Okay, let's have a go. Famous last words. Now I'm going to try the sponge because I think that might be the better idea with the blending. So I'm gonna use one end with the black and as you can see, I'm popping it straight in and I'm hoping you can see from the light there is that it is a very soft, oily paint. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to pop the stencil on my head, obviously. I'm gonna go on with the the black just give it a dab 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 work it in then I'm gonna use the other end go in with the pink and again give it a, a few dabs give it a little bit of a, a blend there mix it in if we can okay and that is what we've got. You can, let me just hold up my light ring so you can get a really good sense of what I'm seeing. It is, because of the oil, it's sitting very, very heavy on the skin. And you can see where it's sort of built up and <laughs> it's not very nice at all. Obviously the finish is not great but it was a pound i'm going to carry on and finish the design because i owe it to to them to at least finish now it's bled through onto both sides of my stencil as well um oops, sorry which would then again it's down to the product isn't it so i'm going to just use my side bits here just to to finish off the 
design. So we've done one. I'm going to do the other. Let's use it like that so you can see me with the one. It's very difficult to work with. That's all I'll say. It's not. There you go. <laughs> oh dear me. Obviously I'm used to working with higher quality paints but it's I want to say I'm disappointed but I knew I knew what I was expecting but if I was I'm talking as a mum now if I'd purchased this not knowing any different that this has got to do what it says that it's pound land and Poundland's got to follow strict guidelines and you know they're not going to sell a shoddy product when it comes to Halloween so many products just get through I'm, I'm sorry to say so let's get the lips done because we're going for this glamorous look and um, I'm going to add two that's what this feels like this product it feels like lip gloss exactly the same sort of um consistency oiliness it just that is what it feels like honestly and i think just by me applying it to my lips there it's just lit the the light bulb you know i think you probably could put if you rewind the tape, you'll see just a ding moment where it, it just clicks. It, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working with lip gloss here. So, um, let's pop a few of these gems on as well, just to get the finished look. Um, these are self-adhesive. Again, you guys know that if we were using our own products, we'd be using it with a... A professional glue and we'd be you know but none of that's been included these are just stick on hope for the best they'll probably drop into your food they'll probably drop into your drink but hey ho it's Halloween it's all good so I'm just popping a few haphazardly onto the design so you can see what we've gone for and that is the High Street Mermaid. Like I said to you, the design did look like it had got some sort of glitter. Um, there wasn't any in there. Whether that was a marketing ploy to make you feel like you'd got something that you, you hadn't, I don't know. So I'm just going to pop a bit on. Because... <laughs> In my business, glitter makes everything great, but I'll let you decide. Has it lifted the design? Has it made it? But that is a Dollar Tree Poundland Mermaid. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to do my mermaid straight after. Okay, please, I just want to say this. Okay, I just want to say this. Um, and please don't think that I've taken a product like this on the high street and I have gone in wanting to slate it because that wasn't what I had in mind, okay? The idea was is that as a professional, we're seeing the market swamped with these at the moment and what's happening is that's impacting greatly on us, Um we're having clients that are phoning us saying, how can you charge that much when, you know, I can go and buy a kit from Poundland and do it myself. And the idea of this video is to show you, actually, you can't. You can go and buy a kit from these shops and you can produce something, but it's not going to be what I produce because I'm using professional grade, top quality products and I'm doing it in a way that I've been trained to do. That's the point of this video. Okay, so what I'll be using is DFX, um, I think it's rose, uh, metallic rose. 
I'll be using DFX Black um, and I will be using a few gems and that's about it and the stencil the same stencil that I used with the the other products and the stencil obviously was from my kit um, there was no stencil um, given to us um, so I've had to improvise on that one um, so all very very basic so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to load what we call up in this business um, I think it's all about same as this guy here okay it's just a bit more of a posh posh name the idea is, is that we get more control with it as a face painter and we can get into smaller smaller areas that that's all okay so I'm gonna load up with my pink first and just very quickly just get a nice cover on there and I'm going to put the stencil where I visualize it on myself and I'm going to just work the pink in here nice and quickly just and because this is a professional product it's going on a lot easier it's going on a lot quicker and I'm not having issues with it whereas when obviously I, I used the the other product I was having issues with building the colour up it not sitting right and the blending was non-existent so I'm going to go in with the black now here and then I'm going to just blend it into the pink there just nice and gently not too much just enough to to have them overlapping and I'm going to take this stencil off and this is the same stencil I used with the other one and we've got nice clear definition there with the scales if you can see that okay nice clear if I wanted to I could take that all the way down take it further down the brow if I wanted to I'm not going to for the purposes of this video I'm trying to be quick keep it nice quick snappy for you so you can visualize and, and, and not spend too long watching me so I'm just going to use another dauber and I'm going to go in with the pink again and I'm going to just use exactly how I did previously with the stencil on the pink I'm going to just switch the dauber so I'm not using a lot of different ones I'm going to go in with the black I've just flipped it there a little bit just to give it a bit more interest there okay so I'm going to do it on the other side as well if I was doing this design myself I would probably try and stick to greens and blues metallic colours I wouldn't go for the pink or the black unless it was stipulated by the client but as I said I'm trying to be fair and stay true to the design so as you can see the coverage that we're having with the professional paint is a lot lot better okay than what we had previously there is no blend bleeding with the stencil that is completely dry that side and on the other we've got we've got the color so I'm now just going to do the chin this design does go down onto the chest as well so if you wanted to you could go down that route but I'm not going to so I'm just going to take Um, the great thing about this design as well is that there's no, it's sort of a hybrid, isn't it? So we're not worrying too much about how the stencil is, whether it's symmetrical, things like that, which is, is, is something I personally like. Now, as you remember, I was fair to the design that it did look like there was some glitter included with with it there wasn't so I'm just going to take my glitter and I'm just going to pop some on there now if you are watching this and you are not a professional face painter you've not painted before but you're just looking for ideas please 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 do not use craft glitter this is a cosmetic grade glitter it's very very important 
A craft glitter is made from metallic particles, whereas our cosmetic grade is purely plastic, very, very, very soft. It's designed to go onto the skin, whereas a craft glitter is very, very rough. And if it was to get into your eyes, best case scenario we can hope for is, is a scratch cornea. Worst case is blindness. So please, if you're going to start playing around with these and thinking you can take things from from art supplies or take a sharpie and start drawing on your face please 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 think again because it's not that simple okay now i'm going to take a water soluble glue that we use in the industry and i'm just going to use it to fix a few gems to my face these are gems that i've bought on the internet um different supplies, different face shop, face painting suppliers. Um, they're just embellishments just to make our design stand out a little bit. So I've gone with the C theme still and I've gone for little pearls. Um, but it is purely just to, to show you that the original design had these in them so I'm just trying to to stay true to that as well okay so just gonna put up a few haphazardly I'm not too concerned about the layout of them it is just so you can see the difference between the two products that we're using that's all I really want to to show you with this video okay so another pearl there I mean if you wanted to and this is where the the glamorous Halloween look really I love it is if you could really sort of outline here and sort of have um, maybe almost a ripped skin theme going here maybe a bit of blood fake blood coming in so it almost looks like the um, scales are behind the skin behind the flesh and that your mermaid self is is coming out it's it's a great way to to have a designer and, and to run with it so i'm just going now to apply some face paint to my lips which is perfectly safe um as i've took on face painting and use face painting more and more i've um come to use face paint on my lips rather than lipstick and I think it's just because of all the great colours out there oops but there you go there is our glamorous mermaid and this is done using the quality products as I described earlier and I'm hoping that if you've watched this video and you are a professional face painter you completely see where I'm coming from and if you are just some parent or guardian or somebody that just wants to get that right costume for the little one 